so he ended up having to take him to court to find out. And uh, eventually he won and Facebook produced a 1,300 page document. That's what they knew about him. Um, that's the average. Um, Facebook knows so much about you, but as a social media uh, marketer, that is fantastic news because you can target. Um, so audiences become one of your key methods for, for targeting. Um, once you've created an ad and you know where you're sending it, um, and people start to see your ad, um, the next thing you need to do, and one of the biggest mistakes people make, is take those clicks through to a web page, the business web page. Now, if you are, uh, let's say, selling mattress cleaning services, and uh, somebody's clicked on your, on your ad, because they really like the idea of mattress cleaning, and uh, they've got a new baby coming into the house, and they want to spruce everything up, and uh, they click on, this, on, on, on the ad, and they go through to a page that talks about all sorts of cleaning, from upholstery and carpets to windows and all sorts. You've probably lost that person. You've got between three and seven seconds to grab their attention. So what you need to do is get that person through to a page, a landing page as we call it, that talks to them about the offer they just clicked on. So it needs to be talking about mattress cleaning. And landing pages and conversion pages, which obviously follow on, are a huge part of actually having success in this space. Um, so your landing page needs to reflect the right thing. Um, so the thing that this one needs to reflect is um, clean mattress for £19.95 each and it's talking to the, the customer about what they want. Um, the, the main aim of any campaign that you put out there must actually be to remove your client or your prospect from the social media platform. And the reason we want to do that is we want to know who they are. Because one of the biggest advantages of any social media campaign is that you can remarket and retarget. So when somebody has clicked on the ad for mattress cleaning and they land on the page, we know who they are. And we can send ads to them on an ongoing basis. Onto their timeline, onto their Facebook timeline, they can actually they keep seeing ads. And this is particularly interesting because uh, in marketing, I'm sure you're aware that it takes between three and seven touches to, to actually convert a customer. So the first time they see that ad, uh, they probably went past it, but by the third or the fifth time, you've got a good chance of actually getting that click and getting them through. Um, so you can greatly increase the effectiveness of your campaigns um, by running through a process like this. Um, so the message is obviously Oh, sorry. Um, that all businesses have to use online to generate business. Uh, th there's no two ways about it. You've got to be there. Um, the question is obviously, do I do it myself or do I hire someone to do it for me? Now, you've got to weigh up um, obviously where you are and, and, the, and the question here always comes in budget. Um, and and the, uh, the, very often the decision is made because of the budget. Um, but the digital marketing landscape just changes so quickly. It is just changing on an ongoing basis and the techniques that you were used yesterday are not as effective today. Uh, so it can be tackled. You can do it on your own. You can certainly get out there um, and get on a course, get all the information you need and start to implement. But what we find is that there are a few people out there that have the aptitude and uh, have the interest and the time because it takes time and, and they can do it and it is possible but um, getting, getting that to work for you um, very often leaves a business owner very despondent about the space and, and getting an effective result out of it. So a good, good marketing agency will help you navigate this and get you to the right place so that you're seeing results. Uh, and choosing the right agency can be hugely beneficial to you in terms of actually creating a campaign that works. And I spoke yesterday about sustainable and robust, predictable. Those are keys when you put out a campaign. You want to absolutely know that when you turn on that campaign, you will be seeing three phone calls a day. Uh, you'll be seeing 
to a 50 leads a month. You know exactly what's going to come through the door. Um, so the, the DIY DIY way, way um, is seen as the cheap way. Um, very often it turns out not to be. Um, there's nothing wrong with understanding this space because when you do employ somebody, you can ask the right questions and ensure that the right thing is being done. Um, so you can make some ads, set up an account, um, and put the ads up, but don't make that mistake and send them to your website. Create that, that chain through the landing pages. Um, the expert is often seen as the expensive way, um, and uh, the, um, the setup fees, the monthly fees, and the what happens if it doesn't work? I've spent this money, um, and, it, and nothing's happened. Um, a message we hear so, so much. Um, the message I want to give you here today is that whatever your investment is, whether you do it yourself or you hire an agent, <coughs> that five times is your worst case scenario. That's what you've got to be getting. Whatever you put in, that's what you've got to be getting out. So, if you're in the space and you can invest £3,000 in a social media campaign, now I'm talking whether you're investing that in, in Facebook yourself, um, or you've hired an agency and that forms the whole budget, that needs to be your return to have an effective campaign working. That is an effective campaign. And it doesn't matter what your budget is, if it's lower, you can still see the same results. Um, so if you put in that £300, you need to be seeing the results. And so often, that's where we get lost. Uh, and, but that is your, your meter, your guide, in terms of how a social media campaign should work and what you should be getting out of it. So, so the brief here today was obviously to talk about um, social media on a shoestring budget. It can happen, you can do it on a shoestring budget, but make sure you're getting the returns. The returns are your guide to whether you are successful or not. And that five times is the standard. You need to be above that. Uh, we very, very often will see returns in the 10 to 20 times on most campaigns. And they, it it's absolutely can be done. So it's not about the budget. It's about the return. So I've given you just a very small taster here today uh, of, of, what we can, of what can be done and what you can do. Um, the, the message about the, the, the system um, is so important um, and, and will drive your results. So, please, if you take away anything from me today, um, it's, it's not about the budget, it's about what you're going to get out of it. And please, as you go out there, whether you do it yourself or you hire somebody to do it, aim at that five times. And if you're not getting it, that person or yourself is not working for you. Thank you. Any questions? Yeah, my, I have a question. Mm. It's an excellent presentation. Actually, I'm told, when I'm told that it's your presentation, I just told my client, look, I have a very really important business so let me Good, good, good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and it's amazing the way that you are presenting. It's absolutely wonderful. Because I, it is uh, not made this clear to me by the guys who are trying to sell me. Okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, the question that I have is that uh, uh, how do you know it's five times that it will return back? Or what's, how did you arrive at that uh, metric? That metric is uh, our, our worst case scenario. Okay. Worst case scenario? Worst case scenario. Wow, what is the best then? As I say, we, we, we are often in the, te in the, the teens ah, yeah. uh, in terms of return. So there could be a major middle and there is an average. Yeah. Our average is about 10. So. We see 10. Um, but uh, yeah. Five times is your worst case scenario, um, and that would be a, a, in, a, in an environment where you would see lower sales. And how do you but see the ROI? I mean, like, okay, so when you say five times, is this, you would uh, bring a lead to the client's site, or is it the actual sale that takes place? I believe it's not, mar marketing is not sale, I understand. Oh, it is. It, it is? is. Oh, it okay. is the sale. Okay. No, it is absolutely the sale. It needs to be the sale. Um, and. When I speak about, I, I chatted yesterday about that whole cycle, um, it's about taking the customer to conversion. Um, and, and that's what that five times is. You want to see the conversion. Uh, otherwise, what am I doing? I can send you leads all day. Uh, it's not, that's not hard. 
Um, but you want to convert. Um, you want to. You want customers, and you want them coming back. Right. Yes. Uh, and and that's what it's about. So it's absolutely about the sale. Anything else? If anyone wants to chat afterwards, happy to chat. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for the time. So, um, how many of you feel it was great? Now, there was a question I wanted to ask. I missed because I needed to go. The question is that which of the social media, because social media is a big business, which of the social media gives the best return, and I know it can vary from business to business, but you know, having the overall umbrella view, A, what gives the best result, and second is that for those guys who want to do it themselves, yeah. what would be top five tips okay. to do? All right, um, <clears throat> first question. Um, Facebook is your, is your best, um, best route, without a doubt. Best targeting, easiest audience to get to, best conversions, and uh, at the end of the day, most reasonably priced. So that is your best best platform. Um, the and, and I'm talking business to business as well, because I'm often asked that question. Okay, Facebook is not excluded when it's business to business. It's a fantastic tool. Okay. Um, in terms of five tips, the first thing I would say to you is get on the right course. You need the right information if you're going to do this yourself. Um, I do work with a couple of companies, and if you want to do that, I'm happy to. I'm not affiliated to them in any way, um, but I've, um, I know them, and they're very good. Um, so if you want to go that route, get on the right course, and that's it. Um, don't just dive in there, um, because you, you will waste money at the end of the day. Um, some people do see results, um, but and uh, they do see leads, but my and that's why I went there is that that five times conversion rate is your standard. You need to be hitting that, otherwise you're not doing it as well as you could be. You need to change something to to be more effective. So, yeah, in terms of DIY, get on the right course, get the right information, and you can. But have the time. Okay, the the time that it takes to get up to speed is, it, it is time consuming and there's a lot, there's a big learning curve. Uh, so uh, just, if you're going to embark on that journey, be aware that you're going to need a few hours a day to, to devote to this process. Okay, cool. Um, so the next thing is that you said five times return ROI means the money you invest, the money you get back in your bank. The profit. The profit amount. Yeah. So I think in my view, that is fantastic. No, it's not the profit, can't it? Because obviously the other, other things are involved in it, isn't it? So the well, is there's, a, there's a gross. Sale. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sale. There's a gross sale. Of sale. Uh, sale is you know, the I've amount of money you give, yeah. the amount of money that comes to your bank. That is what you're counting. No, I see a sale talk there, but... <laughs> no, no, sure. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know what your, your overheads are. But, uh, you know, in terms of the gross, on the sale, yeah. Now we are videoing it, we are videoing it, so I comment that if you, if you engage him, he's going to give it. How could anyone commit like that? Sorry? <laughs> Can he commit like that? Yeah, absolutely. That's oh, my commitment. That. That's We've been people here who are committed. <laughs> that's what it is. Uh, that's, that's what we'll do. That's absolutely. impressive. That's yeah. my commitment. No, no, and we do it time and time again. Okay, so, yeah, <laughs> it's not talking the talk, yeah, it's the yeah, work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a long discussion. This is what happens. Yeah, yeah. Because real life is that there's no point talking in ether. It is bringing the result. It is the acid test. If I put this money, will this money come back? Absolutely. Yeah. As I said to you, it's all about the sale. Indeed. Um, and uh, if I'm not delivering that to you, what am I doing? And Thank importantly, you. that if you do it right way round, the problem is there. And it's all based on, and I know there are lots of which are birds and unpredictables, but this is the best guess that you have at this point in time. So I think that's fantastic. Thank you very much once again. Thank you very much.